There have been several articles written, and many of you have emailed me at Watsi asked for this at gmail.com requesting me to cover the Anne Hathaway situation. And you might be asking yourself, what's the Anne Hathaway situation? Well, it's just it's just another rich uh, Hollywood elite uh, shitting on white people, uh, specifically a white Hollywood elite who apparently is suffering from nuclear levels of white guilt. Uh, she, uh, of course, isn't volunteering to give away her many millions of dollars to help uh, the, the black community, but she'll give them an Instagram post where she hates on who whites. Uh, there have been many articles written on it, but we'll use the Bounding Into Comics one because uh, they've been a, a friend of the channel. They've shared a lot of information. So the Instagram post, if you don't know, Naya Wilson was... Um, lost her life in an attack uh, by a homeless schizophrenic man. Now, that's not what the mainstream media will tell you. They will and always have posted it as black woman killed by white man. Uh, they instantly politicize Nia Wilson's death, and it's disgusting. It's, it's just another example on how politics rules people's lives. Now, there has been no evidence that this crime was racially motivated, but that has not stopped literally every major news outlet accusing this man of being a racist. Now, uh, you don't see uh, every time a black man kills a white woman, you don't see everybody accusing that man of a hate crime or a black man killing a black or white man. You don't see that, right? Because that isn't the narrative. Uh, if I told you that the most recent information, even in a on a website like Essence, will tell you that there is no evidence that this man, that his crime was at all motivated. It said the two Wilson sisters were viciously, you know, by Crowell, a white man. Again, the skin color of the attacker is not relevant once he's been caught. Now, if you were looking for this man, uh, it is relevant, but he's been caught. By the way, he's 27 years old, violated his parole, and was charged with uh, murder and the attempt of her sister. Uh, it has been revealed that he was released on parole four months ago after spending two years in prison for robbery, not a hate crime. Officials still haven't released information about the motive of the attack. That hasn't stopped every major outlet from calling this a hate crime, though. Although many have concluded the attack was racially motivated, authorities claim they don't have any evidence to back that up. Interesting. I mean, of course, this is just a tragedy, right? But everybody cannot possibly fathom that bad things happen that don't fit their political agenda. And you've got Anne Hathaway saying, may she rest in the power and peace she was denied here is unspeakable and must not be met with silence. She's not a hashtag. She is a black woman and she was murdered in cold blood by a who white man. Again, who white people, including me, including you, must take into the marrow of our privileged bones that uh, that the truth that all black people f fear for their lives daily in America and have done so for generations. <laughs> that is a racist woman. In the same sentence, she says, all white people have privilege. And she says, all black people fear for their lives on the daily. Now, I know I don't have uh, tons of black followers, viewers, God, viewers. Um, but uh, I know I have a good chunk. Let me know if you fear for your life daily. I'm curious uh, what that's like. Now, I'm not saying there aren't some people that live in shitty situations, but that's generally regardless of your skin color. White people do not have equivalence for the fear of violence. Given those givens, we must ask our white selves, how decent are we really? Not in our intent, but our actions. 
in our lack of action. Peace, prayers, and justice for Naya and the Wilson family. No comments. Right. There's been no evidence to prove it. There's been nothing indicating. But, you know, this sum, this sums it up, right? Um, it's, it's really sickening that you have someone like Anne Hathaway who can make real change in the world. Someone who has the kind of money that uh, could really help folks. But instead, she chooses to virtue signal. Uh, it's pathetic. Um, and it's super irresponsible when you have somebody, I mean, basically who is a racist, in my opinion. Anne Hathaway is a racist. Uh, she's a racist against her own people. At the very least, she says racist things about white people. Uh, she collectivizes black people. She tokenizes black people. She infantilizes black people. Typical far left ideology. Uh, and then when you add to that, that she's a multimillionaire, uh, you ask yourself, what good does this post do other than both continue to divide people on racial lines and, uh, and, and simultaneously allow her to collect virtue? Now, of course, the virtue you ordered. Now, everybody, nobody's talking about her, right? Nobody's talking about Nia Wilson. Now, the narrative is about Anne Hathaway. Imagine my shock. Nothing is more powerful than, and, than privileged white people talking about white privilege. Right. A case where this man, I think, was home. Tell me again about his white privilege, by the way. Tell me again about his white privilege. He was homeless, schizophrenic, as far as I know. Where was this? One of the articles I read said he was homeless and possibly schizophrenic. So if that's what white privilege looks like, I'm, I mean, I'm not exactly sure. Um, you know, this, this article is about astounding power of white privilege because people stood up and listened to Anne Hathaway. Well, it's really more of a function of uh, some this sick obsession people have with celebrity worship. Let me tell you what, Anne Hathaway is no genius. She's not somebody to be looked up to. Hardly anyone in Hollywood uh, is. They'll say, um, I want to see this. I want to find this. He had a uh, yeah, a 27 year old homeless man with a law, a long criminal history. That doesn't sound like he was living a privileged life to me, does it? Cowell had been found to have bipolar disorder and schizophrenia, and the system failed to give him adequate treatment. Again, does that sound like white privilege to you? It doesn't to me, but it doesn't stop someone like Anne Hathaway completely making this woman's the tragedy of this woman about her if there's any lesson at all in this is that there's no such thing as white privilege okay this man was homeless and mentally ill who knows if he thought there were monsters coming outside of these people we don't know but the media is all too quick to attach their approved narrative uh, whenever they see fit Whenever they think that they can prop themselves up on the corpses of others, it makes my piss boil. I can't understand how when you uh, call yourself a reporter or you are an A-list Hollywood actress with 12 million followers on Instagram, the woman's body isn't even cold yet, and you're posting about her on social media. You know nothing about the crime. This man, from all evidence, was not a racist. He was not a privileged who white person. He was a schizophrenic homeless man who made a terrible decision and ruined one family forever. This crime is terrible, but it's no different other than any other crime of any other people's skin colors. And don't let the mainstream media narrative 
push you to believing these things. And this is just another example, like today's earlier video on Facebook, that you just can never believe what you read. You have to read multiple sources. Otherwise, you'll never understand. I had to dig in to finally, many days later here on the Chicago Tribune, we find out this man is troubled. He's got mental illness. He was homeless. Uh, but the way they originally spun this article was like some crazy white guy in Harlem was wearing a white hood and he stabbed these black women. Disgusting stuff. I can't stand it when this shit happens.